Dublin, one of the most remarkable cities in the world, and home for varieties of traditions. But how does the young generation react to traditional food and beer culture nowadays? Hello and welcome to Dublin. Would you like a Guinness? Guinness, the most famous beer is brewed here in Dublin. Yeah. Probably the most popular lager would be Heineken. Then Budweiser, Coors, then maybe, and then Carrick is an Irish lager, only new in the market. But if anybody talks about Ireland, they talk about Guinness. Yeah. What's your favorite beer? Uh, Guinness. Guinness. Uh, Guinness, I think, yeah. And why? Um, I think the Irish are really proud of uh, their favorite beer, Guinness, and it's very fun to visit new places and bars where you can taste these beers. Very nice. <laughs> This is how we do it, this is how we roll. So you get your point like this, 45 degree angle, you pull it down. And you leave it to settle. That's a popular place to go out. Obviously in Temple Bar, in the Temple Bar area, it's very touristy. Yeah. I wouldn't personally go there. No, well, where would you go? I would go somewhere further away, less expensive. What do you think is Irish food? Well, I think we have a mix of all types of food. We, we don't really have our own cuisine per se. I suppose the only thing that will come to my mind is like Irish stew. For me, my favorite thing to eat at the moment in Dublin is a burrito because they're amazing and they're cheap. You can't beat it. Brazen Head, it's the oldest pub in Ireland. Yeah. It's been, there's been a pub on this site since 1198. Well, that's long. <laughs> yeah, what does Brazen Head do to become a global pub? A lot of people are using our name abroad, like in South Africa. There's a lot of Brazen Heads in New York, yeah. in Glasgow, but they only just use the name. It's, we don't, like the Brazen Head is privately owned by myself and my business partner, and that's all the only way we wanted to keep it. Okay. They all tried to copy this pub, but you can't copy something as good as this. Fine, that's true. Uh, how do you at attract the young people? Well, we have a, f a girl working full time on our Facebook, and also she tweets a lot. We would try and get our message out to come into the Brazen Head on our website, and we have, if you uh, key in into the internet and you look for pubs or fun, the brazen head will always be one of the first things that comes up. How about the locals? Are they also coming here? Because we have music every night of the week, we get different people in to see different bands. And that's why, basically, our locals will be people that come in every Wednesday night or every Thursday night to see a certain band. Yeah. Now, at tea time, you will always get at least 12, 13 people in at the bar. They all know each other. They all work around the area, and they're very good locals. Yeah. The most important thing to have in a pub is to have good staff. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by good staff that are professional, but also are friendly, that will chat to people. And this is why most of these locals would come in here. Okay. This is Stephen, my head chef. So what are we going to cook now? Traditional Irish stew. The mainstay. The mainstay of like Irish people when in the famine years ago when there wasn't much food in Ireland did you make a stew with lots of vegetables and potatoes kind of because we didn't have much meat you know so you'd make a bulky up with the vegetables and that's what I was brought up as as a child you know it was the, the main dinner at home you know. And now I'm gonna taste a traditional Irish dish, the Irish stew. Yeah, this is lamb and uh, mushroom and some potato mash. It tastes very good. 